ride with me, but don't you quit. And in that moment, I really wanted to have that do you want to get away moment. But this is what I did. Whatever you do in life first. Well, thank you for stopping by and enjoying uh, enjoy the moment with me. I am appreciated. Whatever you do in life, whatever it is, do not quit. If you have a passion for it, don't quit. Because here's the thing, if you quit, you are at the breaking point right there where you're gonna be like, I shouldn't have quit. I think I would have made it. You don't wanna quit and keep going back, reliving, I think I would have made it. I think I could have made it happen. If you are a YouTuber and you working hard for your content, number one, and then you got to get the right cameras. Well, I have a G7X and a Canon 65 HD. The Canon 65 HD goes long range and zoom back in. The 65, the G7X is a vlogging camera, so it allows you to vlog. At the moment, and I guarantee you, there were some times I was about to quit YouTube. I was like, I'm not doing it anymore. This is too much work. I am tired. I get three people. I get four people. I might get seven people in my stream. I mean, all kind of things start rambling in your brain, trying to figure out which way to go, how to make it happen. What do you need to do? Who can you invite? Who can you collaborate with to get someone else to help you build your views? And you have to keep going until you get it right. That's what you do. You work on your cameras. You work on your quality of the cameras. Now, I, got, I purchased a vlogging camera because what happened was the vlogging camera allowed me to see. It flips up right on top of your camera, the G7, the G7X, and so it flips up and allow you to see exactly what you look like before you even start dotting your I's and crossing your T's in your content. So I got the right cameras to possibly get the right quality of the product that I'm trying to give you. Um, slow motion, fast motion. Now I made a mistake last week. My quality to me, I didn't like it, but I'd already produced it. So, I think I need more light. I had already produced it, right? So, I slow motion down the part it was my beetroot juice, lower your blood, blood pressure. Anyway, I slow motioned it down, but I didn't slow motion it down with the with the uh, audio down. So it was like, and that was the whole process. And I was like, OMG, I have already produced this. I thought I had gotten past this, and I haven't. And look at this, OMG. Well, here's the thing. People wrote me back and said they liked it because of the way I was chopping it in slow motion with the sound, like I actually did it on purpose. I didn't. So all that to say this, sometimes when you make a mistake, Sometimes that's the best mistake you could ever make in your quality. Because everybody's not going to want to see the chop, 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 chop. 
and get the end result. Some people want to see that. I mean, that's the way it is, you all. Every person that comes to your channel is going to be different. Your content, you attract the attract the positive ones, you attract the negative ones. All of it is marketing to me. So I left it like it was. Now, the lighting has to be right. Like right now, I'm kind of upset at my lighting for my camera right here because I think it should be lighter. That's just me. I have my sunroof open, see? But it's still not light enough for me. So, but the lighting got to be right. I like working with natural sunlight. I don't always like like um, lighting in a room because sometimes it's hard to put that that ring light and then the other light and the other light in front of you. I got to buy another big ring light to, to offset the other and you try to get the right and light and when you look in the camera, you're like, oh, I don't like that. And then some vloggers, they, they in their house and they're in their offices and their lighting is perfect. I'm like, Jesus Christ, how did they get their lighting so perfect? But again, it is what it is. Get your lighting right. Get your content right. Get your quality right. Because guess what? You are a creator. You, I'm talking to you, are a creator. You are the one that creates whatever content you want to create and it's gonna be good. Don't say, oh, they won't like this. Somebody's gonna like your content. Somebody's gonna like how you tell about how you grew your channel. Because they might be at number 259 subscribers and I'm, I'm at 1734. And I tell you, trying to get to 1740 is the biggest thing in the world to me. I go up and I go down. I go up and I go down. I go up and I don't even worry about it anymore. I just create. That's what I do. So you are a creator. Create your content the way you want to be created. I don't care if it's how to cut an apple the right way. Which could be a good wellness video. How to make orange juice with apple and, and put a little touch of lemon in it. How to use lemon and lemon tea and what to do with lemon tea when you get ready to drink it. And the things you gotta know about lemon before you start drinking all that lemon, which is good for you, but that could be good content, which might be good for me in my next video. As a matter of fact, the more I think about it, I probably will do it in my Wednesday, my wellness video. The things you need to know about lemon, the good things and the not so good things. Until next time, stop by and see me and talk to me and leave me a comment and a like in my Enjoy the Moment podcast.